Well, there's definitely a perception that we've been here since 1900 and started with chopping trees down and things of that nature, but we haven't been here that long. We're only second generation. But we moved to Seattle as a family in 76, so we were still really young, but that was from Connecticut. There's a lot of conversations going on in a lot of different corners of this city as there are in America, and I would argue that the sooner business affords the opportunity to sit down with our political leaders and political leaders are more willing to sit down with business and recognize that we're all in it for the common good that we will continue to realize the success that we're having. And the great news is today we have as much intellectual capital and from it a lot of monetary capital that can come together to make a lot of really important things happen but it has to be a collaboration between the business community and government so the, the tools, the resources that we have at our disposal today as a region are as strong and robust as they've ever been. You know, when I think about the collaboration between business, philanthropy, and government, um, when the three can work harmoniously together, better outcomes can be achieved. Successful business here that grows is an opportunity for our region. It's an opportunity for people to come make a difference, to collaborate with government, to give back, and I think the great companies that have been born here, that have grown here successfully, have cultures that live and walk that every single day. We need to continue to foster an environment where people want to start businesses, give them the tools and the resources. The foundation has to be a very, very solid education system. And that's real important to us. We have a lot of focus on education um, at a very, very young age, giving kids the tools, the ideas, the mindset, that fostering environment that enables them to have that education is, is mission critical. And look at it from the community standpoint, say, how can we work together? I need to put certain things aside, we need to collaborate. Compromise is probably another word that comes to mind. So attitude and compromise. If we can take those two buzzwords to heart, um, a lot more can be accomplished. We are people from all around the world from all different races and, and, and creeds, and we're trying to figure that out. And this is a very, very critical, you know, period in the city's in the city's growth. But I think we have all the confidence in the world that when we look back on this period, as I said, 10, 20 years from now, we're going to be pretty proud about what's what's transpired.